Just look at these guys. Both have way too many legs, segmented bodies, exoskeletons, are creepy AF. Did nature actually come up with these horrific traits twice? Or did one of these monsters split off from the other recently to start their own real life horror show? Coming up with the same traits independently is what we call convergent evolution. These guys both hop around but are not closely related and just happen to evolve this peculiar form of movement independently. Same with these guys. These plants grew up on opposite sides of town and independently gained a taste for flesh. These freaks of nature separately evolved wings for flight. We separately evolved opposable thumbs to hang on for dear life when we climbed higher than we knew we should. And this one is kind of obvious. Dude, stop copying me. Bro, I never even had legs. You copied me. So how can we figure out if spiders and crabs convergently evolved or just share a fairly recent common ancestor like horses and deer do? We're gonna need a time machine, or maybe some really smart scientists. In the Paleozoic era, half a billion years ago, before life had even moved onto land, this appendage-heavy beast was hanging out in the ocean filter feeding. His name is Ovadia vermis cribratus and was found in the Burgess Shale in British Columbia, Canada in 2017. He's the most likely fossil scientists have found to have the prestigious title of being the common ancestor of all arthropods. Why does he no longer exist? Not the topic of this video. Arthropods are a huge group of animals that represent a staggering 80% of known species including insects, spiders, and crustaceans. Basically any animal where you'll shriek if it touches you. So when did spiders and crabs go their own ways down the evolutionary tree? Basically right after this guy. Check out their phylogeny. You have to go all the way back to phylum before you find their common ancestor. Phylum, bro. That's hundreds of millions of years ago. Humans are only one more step back to find our common ancestor with them. This here mystery is a cold hard case of convergent evolution, my friend. Their similar appearance is just a coincidence. They're about as closely related as you are to a sheep's head fish, even though you both have the same teeth. This was a really short video, so I don't know if uh, you're welcome is necessary or I'm sorry but either way it's over